Namaste people. Welcome to Shweta's Basket, a stories and poems podcast. And I'm your host, Shweta Singh. Each week, I will bring an incredible new story or poem for you, written by some of the best contemporary writers. Hello, it's Friday. I love Fridays. Who does it, right? But even better than Fridays, it's vacation time. Well, for most of us. So here's to some humor and light moments in our lives. I have two poems that fit the bill. The poems have been written by our poetry queen, Natasha Sequera. She's a stay-at-home mom to two teenagers. Her passions are music, reading and singing. She loves to pen humorous poems, as will be evident shortly, and is happiest when people find her poems to be a breath of fresh air, which you will. Currently, she is one of the moderators at Poetry Parlour, that's the poetry room in our tunes in, an online platform for budding poets and writers. If you enjoy these poems, then check out her work at Poetry Parlor. Especially check out her Thursday Laughs. I will leave a link to it in the show notes along with her social media handles. Okay, so the first poem is This Means War and I can relate to it wholeheartedly. It happens to me all the time. I have suffered enough at their hands. Or in this case, should I say, enough at the proboscis. Want to know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I am talking about a mosquito. So to all those out there who have suffered their bites, this one is for you. This poem covers all the action and emotions involved with our interactions with mosquitoes. And that's what I loved about this poem. So here is, this means war. The jig was up. He had been spotted. There in the corner, feet in tight pants, weirdly dotted. Gotcha! She yelled, started to the core. I see you, you wretch. You can hide no more. He seemed to stop dead in his tracks. He stared at her, whilst she stared right back. This means war. May the best man win. She was tired of him, his kith and kin. She lunged at him, but oh, he was fast. In speed and agility, she got outclassed. Blood-sucking vampire! She screamed, then some more. She drowned out Ernab's cacophony of, The nation wants to know. Finally, he got attracted to her fancy bedroom mirror. (coughs) Splat! He was a goner. She emerged a winner. Vanity will be your downfall, she said with a snicker. Especially if you are a mosquito, checking yourself in my mirror. Now tell me if you haven't felt the exact same thing before. And the funny thing is, even when I'm sitting in a group, you know, I am the only one who gets bitten. It is so frustrating. And the other thing that is very frustrating is being stalked. Yes, that's the second poem, stalked. So let us see who is stalking who, shall we? And again, this is something that I have personally experienced and felt. So here is stalked. Chomp, chomp, I sorrowfully munched. Toasted brown bread and green tea, yuck. 
Ding ding. The phone whizzed. Hungry? Kya? Domino's quizzed. I rolled my eyes, ignored my phone, got on with chores till it was noon. Sat down with my dal and fifteen teaspoons of rice. Ding dong! This was Pizza Hut offering a pizza slice. By tea time, Zomato had heard my tummy rumble, sent me a message telling me so. <laughs> grumble, grumble. How am I to maintain this diet of losing weight before Christmas night? So. I may slide into my not so slinky gown. In my head, be the talk of the town. Help! <laughs> I am being stalked by food delivery apps. They are out to make me and my waist fat. Isn't it? That is my fate too. <laughs> I am telling you, these apps make sticking to healthy food so difficult. I mean, regular food I make at home. So if I am ordering food from outside, it has to be fried, cheesy, juicy, spicy. Otherwise, what's the point? Now, see, just talking about it is making my mouth water and crave such kind of food. But, 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 before I go and order food from one of these apps, if you have enjoyed these poems, then you may want to check out episode number 53, which has two more humorous poems titled Jim Ka Siappa and Bin Bulai Mehman, written by Nisha Tandon. And if you loved the poems today and want to hear a story written by Natasha, then check out episode number 40. It's a beautiful, heart-wrenching story of Storm, a racehorse, and its owner, Sam. And guys, that brings us to the end of this episode. To share your comments or feedback, DM me on Facebook or Instagram. My handle is Shweta's Basket. You can also use the link in the show notes to visit the website and leave a comment there. And don't forget to hit the like or follow button or the subscribe button on YouTube before you exit. Do rate us on Spotify and Apple Podcast. It'll take you a couple of seconds, but this thoughtful gesture from you will go a long way in supporting the podcast and helping it grow. So, until we meet again on the air next Friday, this is your host, Shweta Singh, signing off. Bye for now. Do you want to have a website of your own? Well, look no further. The Geeks will help you. And you will find them in the Geeks room at Artoons Inn. Just click on the link in the episode description. Yes, it's that simple to have a website. 